Greetings from Pathways to Peace. Some time ago, our beautiful harpist Tammy Briggs brought to me this model that she was trained in called Manifestation Meditation. As peace builders, we are committed to use all models and techniques at our disposal to bring peace to our planet. And none is more important and more accessible to us than our ability to co-create through our collective manifestation. And we know that calling into being a ceasefire in the Ukraine is perhaps one of the most clarion calls for us today. So we offer this following manifestation meditation as a gift to Nina and our beautiful colleagues at One Humanity as they rally the global call for a ceasefire in the Ukraine. And we invite you to join us as well, as we, as we hope you will use this manifestation meditation as often as possible, because together, peace prevails on earth. Now, before we begin on the meditative journey together, I'd like Tammy to talk about the manifestation meditation and the importance of the harp accompanying the meditation. Tammy? Thank you so much, Tez. It is always a joy and an honor to work with Pathways to Peace. Our missions are so much in alignment and I always appreciate working with you. The manifestation meditation that you're about to experience on this recording is a technique that I use when I'm working with people on their personal healing journeys. The formula is a course statement that's repeated for three minutes and then four supporting statements that are each repeated 17 seconds. So the whole meditation takes a little less than five minutes. It's quick and powerful, and today we're focused on manifesting a ceasefire in the Ukraine. It's most powerful if you can do this meditation every day and also invite your friends. Why the harp? Well, the harp, when it's played with the intention of peace, as I'll be playing it in just a minute, really helps us connect to our own inner peace. And when we're in that peaceful place and we're setting intention to manifest something specific, it radiates out in that peaceful vibration. And the harp also helps us lift our frequency very quickly. When it's played with the intention of peace, it can really be a magnificent instrument to help us stay focused and also raise our vibration. So that's what ripples out into the universe. <clears throat> the first song that I'm going to play is a Ukrainian lullaby. It's titled, The Dream Passes by the Window. The words to this lullaby are very sweet. I don't sing, so I'm just going to read these beautiful, touching words. The dream passes by the window and sleep by the fence. The dream asks sleep, where shall we spend the night? Where the cottage is warm, where the baby is tiny. There we will go and rock the child to sleep. There we will sleep and rock the child. Sleep, sleep, my dear. Sleep, sleep, my little dove. And after I play that lullaby, then I'll play Dona Nobis Pachem, which means grant us peace. And so now I invite you to connect with your own heart, your breath, and Tez will lead us through the meditation. Thank you, Tammy. And as Tammy said, 
we now connect heart to heart. As we sleep and dream, we breathe a little more deeply, a little more slowly. And with X, every breath, we focus on our heart as we breathe through that beautiful sacred space in the middle of our chest, the seat of the heart. One heart and one breath. open to this beautiful meditation and the manifestation we together are creating. The war in the Ukraine has dragged on with fatigue and desperation on both sides of the conflict. Those caught in the middle experience great hardship and suffering. Lives have been lost. Families are displaced. And cities, towns, and landscapes are decimated. Soldiers from both sides are exhausted and dispirited. Everyone is ready for a different response. The call for a ceasefire rings out around the world. And the response is a resounding yes. Rejoicing erupts across the land and around the world. With heartfelt gratitude and relief, soldiers lay down their arms with tears in their eyes and cries of joy, they reach across the divide and embrace their fellow soldiers. Soldiers return home into the loving arms and joyful embrace of family members. And neighbors come into the streets with shouts of jubilation. Communities come together to begin the healing work of reconstruction, believing their communities can be better, stronger, and more beautiful. World leaders and citizens alike are unified, and peace prevails on earth. So it is. the Ukraine is dragged on with fatigue and desperation on both sides of the conflict. Those caught in the middle experience great hardship and suffering. Lives have been lost. Families are displaced. And cities, towns, and landscapes are decimated. Soldiers from both sides are exhausted and dispirited. Everyone is ready for a different response. The call for a ceasefire rings out around the world and the resounding response is yes. Rejoicing erupts across the land and circles the world with heartfelt Art gratitude and relief, soldiers lay down their arms. With tears in their eyes and cries of joy, they reach across the divide and embrace their fellow soldiers. Soldiers return home into the loving arms and joyful embrace of family members. And neighbors come into the streets with shouts of jubilation. 
communities come together to begin the healing work of reconstruction, believing their communities can be better, stronger, and more beautiful. World leaders and citizens alike are unified, and peace prevails on earth. So it is. My heart sings for the people of the Ukraine and Russia, and my love pours out for this new day of peace. My heart sings for the people of the Ukraine and Russia, and my love pours out for this new day of peace. The Ukrainian and Russian cities, towns, and countryside are restored to their natural beauty, and they are blanketed in peace and love. The Ukrainian and Russian cities, towns, and countryside are restored to their natural beauty, and they are blanketed in peace and love. The inherent beauty and nature of peace is embraced as a way of living, working, and being. The inherent beauty and nature of peace is embraced as a way of living, working, and being. As peace enters this entire region and beyond, all people and government leaders coexist in harmony, unity, and love. As peace enters this entire region and beyond, all people and government leaders coexist in harmony, unity, and love.